Hello everyone. Today we're hiking Rampart Range, Rainbow Gulch Trail to the lake. It's part of the Pike National Forest. Here's a nice view of Pike's Peak that you'll see on the way to the trailhead. Just outside of Woodland Park, Colorado. It's a easy hike. It's about a mile and a half to get to the lake. Beautiful day for the hiking. 65 degrees, sunny. trail, no camping, no fires, we're still social distancing, it's the middle of May, Be responsible for yourself, you are your own rescue, dogs are allowed, this is a popular reservoir for um, fishermen and fishing, a flat trail. It's basically a road most of the time. And I think the um, increase in elevation is about 269 feet according to all trails. It took us about an hour and a half to get to the lake and then come back to the car. Dogs are allowed. If you don't like dogs, this is not the trail for you. There are lots of dogs. We've got two different paths, one on each side of the, um, I guess I kind of, it's not really a spillway, but stream. popular with mountain bikers too. There's a loop that goes all the way around the lake. It's about 13 miles, I think. So some people walk it, but it's kind of far to walk. I, I, it's better to, to ride a bike. I did see a couple people with jogging strollers. The path has a lot of gravel. It is possible. Tell me about willows. Yes, tell me about willows. See the willow bark, the inner bark, you can boil it and make tea to get salicylates out of it to cure your headache. Which is where we got aspirin, which is acetylsalicylic acid. And it all comes because the name of the genus for willows is S-A-L-I-X, salix. So salicylates come from willows. So you like get a bunch of those and open them up and get the bark out of the middle? No. And you, boil it? it? There's no bark in the middle. There's wood, honey. You said the inner bark. What's yeah, it? you scrape the bark off and on the inside of the bark where it's green and not the outside where it's brown, you get that. I think you could scrape them and then boil them in a yeah. pot. Yeah. And you could make aspirin of, of course, sorts. Of you have no idea how what, what the dose would be. Right. And we're still going. Social distancing for the bridge. Waiting our turn. This is a pretty crowded trail. So close to Colorado Springs that Pretty busy on the weekends. And it's our turn.
going to the um, Rainbow Gulch Trailhead. It is free. And you can um, drive past that a little ways to get to the dam and the, I guess the official recreation center. It's closed right now, but it usually on a typical year opens in May. And it's $7. Got a boat ramp, tables, some fairly nice restrooms. And definitely more crowded over there. We took the across the bridge and went on the left side. Oh, boarding. Stream. Cross country skiing. Cross country skiing trip. We should try that. Oh, that's. <laughs> That's a serious uh, workout that uh, George Ulrich knows you know, how he does it if you want to. I'm never going to try us. that. <laughs> it's almost to the water now. Is that a bad way to go? Okay, thanks for the tip. I fall down a lot. Especially on loose ground. <sighs> the reservoir is the drinking water for the city of Colorado Springs. Built in the late 60s, and it's stocked with fish every year. I saw someone catch three really nice rainbow trout while. Dogs. I've never seen the water to be special in the year. It's always kind of brown. So don't believe everything you read on the website. It's a nice place. There's a lady to Overall, Especially good for kids, seniors, very easy walk. Some lost dogs, and a bulletin board. Part of the trail around the lake, you will ride and walk through the Waldo Candy Bird Scar. I've never walked around the lake, I've only taken the Rainbow Gulch Trail to the water and then walked back. And then I went around at the dam once. Thanks for watching everyone. We did have fun getting out of the parking lot because of that tree that's right. Bye everyone, thanks again for watching.